Hello, I'm Pamela Foa, candidate for City Council from Ward 2. I believe that the moment has come for ordinary citizens to step into the political arena. I grew up in New York and went to public school. I worked hard in college and graduate school, but it took time to find my true calling, public service. My work as a lawyer for Philadelphia, and then for over 20 years as a federal prosecutor, will help me be an effective city councilor. I retired from law when my husband came to Brown University. Attleboro is a warm and welcoming community. Attleboro's virtues are remarkable, but require work to preserve. This is true about the elegant Capron Park and the zoo, were two gems treasured by all in the city. We can work to improve the zoo's financial footing, in part, by publicizing it beyond our borders, including taking the simple step of improving signage to the zoo. With two train stations, one of which is under repair, we can continue to develop as a commuter community for Boston and Providence. Our high school is drawing new families to Attleboro, so we have an opportunity to grow. But we must grow responsibly, maintaining our open spaces, certainly including Highland Park, while we work to meet the clear demand for all kinds of housing. New housing, senior housing, housing for renters, and first-time buyers, and most of all, affordable housing. We must balance becoming more attractive to commuters with finding ways to house those who are in distress. Authorizing accessory housing units is a start. It is imperative that Beacon Hill empower us to modify real estate taxes. With every real estate tax increase, some of our low-income seniors are barely able to stay in their homes, the homes they worked their entire lives to own. It is a matter of respect and decency to help those who created the community that we enjoy. The wonderful art on transformer boxes and the food truck Sundays in Capron Park show how little it takes to spark our sense of community. But to revitalize downtown, we need pedestrian walkways and bicycle lanes throughout the city. Safety requires that we create more painted pedestrian crossings and enforce pedestrian-friendly speed limits in residential areas. We are facing unimagined problems for which we must prepare. If elected, I will use my judgment and understanding to consider how to go forward. To participate in Attleboro's government would be a privilege. I ask for your vote on November 7th.